Welcome to yet another video. Today, um, we've decided to go ahead and do a cooking video for you guys. So, we're going to get started today. Um, we attempted this on the web. Didn't turn out as good as I'd hoped, but we're going to try it again. I'm going to try spaghetti again. We got all the stuff all ready to go. We've got a pan here. And the strainer's already in the sink over there. So let's get started. So let's uh, get started. We're going to first go over and take our bowl and head over to the sink. So let's go to the sink right now. Okay, let's uh, get the water warm first. All right, that's good. Put the pan in. You basically want this to be a little bit more than halfway. No more. Okay, that's good. And uh, let's bring it over to the stove now. Okay, here we go on the on the stove now. All right, now all there is to do is uh, turn the uh, stove top on to high and wait for the water to boil. All right, um, depending on how warm the water is, I'm not really sure if that has to do with how long it uh, takes to boil, but sometimes it takes up to about five minutes or longer, depending on how warm or cold the water is. Hot water might boil in less time, but it's uh, said to just normally do it in warm water to cook uh, spaghetti, which uh, we'll be continuing here. So just wanted to give you that little detail. And once the water is boiling, we will come back and uh, continue the segment, which should be very shortly within the next few minutes. All right, water's boiling, so Let's uh, get some spaghetti going in there. Uh, that looks like a lot, but it's really not. Oops. Took a few more, maybe. Yeah, that will do it. All right. Get them all bunched together. I break them in the sink. Just like that, we take them over to the uh, stove now. As you can see, the water is now boiling more than I normally let it. So I'm gonna quickly put the spaghetti in there. <sighs> some fell, some didn't make it in there. Then I'm going to start stirring it up. Get it stirring. I am also now going to turn it down to medium high, or at least medium. Turn it down so it doesn't all over boil. All right, so it's been a few minutes, almost 10. It's taking a long time. It should be getting about done, so let's, uh, let's have a test here. And what you wanna do is, well, that one didn't wanna go, huh? Take one. Kinda play with it. Handle it. Dry it out and check it. You could taste it too. And since there's no doughiness or crunchiness, we're uh, ready to take it off. So I'm going to do that right now. So we're going to take it off the stove and put it in the sink. We're also going to turn off the stove. I'm going to dump it into the sink here very carefully. Let all the steam roll out. Now that that's done, 
and to put that off camera and I tilt to it so hang on or pan to it move it closer so you guys can see let's go down here it's probably as best an angle as I can get then we're just gonna well maybe I can get a better one for you guys and then just make sure it makes it into the bowl Then I'm gonna grab butter and knife from the cabinet over here. Yeah. Uh, well, probably that much, maybe. And just put it in there, and mix it around until it's completely done. Once it's done, put that in the sink. Put this butter on it. Get a bowl and some other stuff that you can use. You can put basically anything you want with it. I'm going to move this camera. Grab a bowl. Put the bowl in your meal. Also, I like to put cheese, so I don't see any. Yeah, there's some. I like to have some Parmesan cheese with mine. You can basically do whatever you want, and then you just slide it into the bowl, and you're done. With some hands, Parmesan. And that's basically it. That will basically wrap up this week. Um, cooking segment, and we'll see you next time. Bye.